Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Wolf Chaos. This is episode 7. So we've taken down the Super Assault helicopter, we've dealt with the gas in Chicago, and we've dealt with the Command Cruiser. So now, it's time to take on the unmanned superweapon. The enemy force experiments on the people of New York with unmanned superweaponry. It treats the 8 million citizens who run about trying to escape like guinea pigs. I'm sorry, let's just look at what she just said here. So they're experimenting on the people of New York with super weaponry that uses all of the population as guinea pigs. Information has been obtained that what exactly is it experimenting? The massive weaponry. Before taking the huge weapons head on, destroy the energy supply facilities. The objective is the destruction of all target areas and the massive arms. And again, she's saying plural, but I'm sure there's only going to be one. This mission goes by the call name... Operation We Love NYC. Well, I mean... They could have gone with something better, with giant metal spider attacking New York. I mean, I guess they couldn't call it Big Fucking Spider. Mr. President. Actually, I don't think that movie took place in New York. Alright. So we're going to kind of rush through this menu here. You can see at the top that I have 1,275,278 money and 60,000 metal. And that's because I replayed all of the missions before this, continuing to collect energy pods and everything. All right, so investment. Now, the only thing I invested in off screen because I wanted to just kind of catch it up with the rest is machine guns. And it turns out after the MP7, the first machine gun you get is the Gatling gun, which is the M134. So let's put two points into that, because it is very good for intercepting bullets, or missiles. Um, and missile launchers. Put some points into that. Alright, getting pretty expensive. Sniper cannons. We're not really getting a lot of new stuff here. Put a point into flamethrowers. Let's put another point into flamethrowers. Okay, there's a new one. And, I guess, Assault Rifles. I mean, I kind of generally use it, so might as well. ENRFCB. Alright. Point to bazookas as well. And that should be good. Now let's manufacture all that new stuff. Supreme Bazooka that fires two rounds at once. Well, as long as they don't go in a V-shape. Um... It looks like we still have four more to unlock, so there's not too many left. Penetrating multiple targets, surface air strikes, supreme missile launcher that fires four missiles at once. That just looks like a uh, flash. Okay, I kind of spent a lot of metal already. Sandiary rounds, energy rounds, heavy machine gun optimized for strafing. Well, that's interesting. Just has a higher capacity and a better sight. Okay, grab that. What is this? Assault rifle used by cyborgs. Yes, cyborgs. <laughs> what? We don't have enough metal for that, though. Maybe we'll save up for that. All right. And then for our loadout, uh, don't really want the grenade launcher. Um, what do I have that's another good one-handed weapon? I guess that's just where my shotgun would be. I should have got a new shotgun too, because this stuff's not great. But let's go with high capacity. Desert Eagle's fine. Switch out the M2 with the ultimate bazooka and ultimate missile launcher. Switch out our Gatling gun with the strafing Gatling gun. And our assault rifle, we didn't get a new one. Well, yeah, no. Sniper cannons, I didn't make a new one, so we're good. Let's get in here. I think this is a pretty good all-purpose loadout. Enemy forces occupy New York City. The coup d'etat forces are experimenting with an unmanned super weapon to suppress the townspeople. Destroy the target areas along with the It's super like the weapon. London Monitor. Talk about massive arm. What is that? Massive legs, really. Carnival ride? Hello, hello, hello. 
Hello, Michael. How's life treating you? Richard. Man, he really what loves to be the bad guy. Cute little pet. Thanks to him, the people of New York City are right now festively uh, running around and trying to escape. <laughs> uh, it's like a big old carnival. It's like Mardi Gras in New York or something. <laughs> you are a sick Take a bite from its super energy wave phase. You kind of have to love his ridiculous, like, high paced delivery of these lines. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> uh -huh, it's just me, the evil president. Vice president. Casparitis. What he said is true. Hello, civilians. So be dangerous. Run away for now, Mr. President. Hold on. Gets its energy wave firepower from a power reach. All right, see if I can boost past it. Target area obtains powerful electromagnetic armor energy. The origin of the energy supply should be cut off first, Mr. President. That daddy long legs electromagnetic armor. I mean, they don't really look like they're running. So you can weaken its electromagnetic armor. Some scientists were among the POWs you rescued. They were used to research weapons of mass destruction. Wow, it is actually pretty quick. Yeah, I'd say this missile launcher is pretty good. However, it's already almost out of ammo, so... Gotta find some more. But what is this, like, super chill music for this level? Wow, there goes half my health. Man, this thing is really on my ass, actually. I th thought I'd have more time to get away from it. Okay, let's switch out to the other rocket. What is this? Metal spider. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> Smaller relatives. Okay, this one's got a lot more ammo, so I can actually use it regularly. Oh man, is that tank actually moving? It's the first time we've seen one of those actually drive. Remodeled like this, they must be out of their minds. Let's destroy it and weaken Daddy Longlegs. Who's gonna pay to advertise here? Watch out for this thing, it has cannons on every side. Alright. Get you out of the way. So, I could destroy all that, but I also want to destroy the target areas, which I guess these ones don't actually buff him. Or maybe they do, because they've got those things on top. Watch out for the mines. Just mine the gap. I was going to use my burst on him, then I realized I barely have a charge. I guess because I'm not really killing anything. Alright. Put a couple more rounds into this building. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't think it can fit down the street. Okay, it reduced its armor level. Um, okay, this is gonna be bad. Especially if I run into a mine. Alright. So I think I actually just got hit by a bunch of missiles. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. President. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. I've kind of noticed that. The only way they do difficulty in this game is the number of missiles that something shoots. Like, every one of the strong enemies we fought just shoots a lot of missiles. 
Intensive energy wave firepower from a power recharge facility. Each target area obtains powerful electromagnetic armor energy. The origin of those new type weapons self-destruct when they draw near. Okay, there are some of these little bombs inside the tanks. Destroy it before it gets any closer. I've already lost two health bars. I think I gave Big Spider the slip for the moment. So I'm pretty sure these yellow health bar buildings are ones you're supposed to destroy with energy weapons, but like, there aren't any explosive energy weapons so far, so like an energy machine gun doesn't seem to damage it much faster. You rescued. Once again, I like that he's in the cage with his <laughs> guitar. They just throw it in there with him. Okay, out of missiles. So, let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, it's just kind of a surrounding outside area. I forgot I could zoom out on the little map, too. This Gatling gun is just destroying all of their shots before they can hit me. Alright, well, we don't need to mess with all of them. You know... Assuming I've got a moment before the spider catches up, this is actually a good time to use the sniper cannon. You can see those mines coming at me. Okay, the tank caught up. Don't want these things to get close, because they do just as much damage as the regular mines. I've noticed that these tanks don't seem to have front armor, per se. <laughs> they kind of take the same damage no matter where you shoot them. Oh, you actually can't boost through these guys. Alright, time to go. Yeah, see? When you're that close, it's really hard to avoid those missiles. Also, that beam. I'm sure you just There's an energy pod. Um, I'm really gonna have to recover my health if I want to survive this mission. It's gonna be a rough one, but I kind of expected that. You know, giant super weapon. Okay, Times Square. I kind of just have to play Ring Around the Rosie with this thing, just going around the blocks to get away from it. Grab some ammo. It is catching up to me pretty quick. I, th I think the laser just barely missed me there. Might be a good place to. Uh, I was gonna save ammo by using the sniper cannon up close. Uh, I want the other missile and just double. Okay. I don't think I had ever tested if that actually worked. Clearly, it does not. Mr. 
Okay, well... I was about to say I'm not doing too bad considering my health, and then I got obliterated by missiles. Mr. President! Oh, Mr. President! Mr. President! So this is not that tough of a mission conceptually, but... Again, the fact that his main attack is missiles, followed immediately by a giant death laser. This'll be dangerous. Run away for now, Mr. President. Okay. I hadn't even got off the street yet before he fired the lock-on laser. So we're just gonna reset. I mean, I guess, contrary to what I said, at least this one has a weapon that isn't missiles. Yeah, even those little mine layers, or mine drones, do a full health bar of damage. Let's take out these if I can before it catches up to me. Okay, looks like we still got time. Unfortunately, I think I have to destroy these two for it to count. Yeah, see? It doesn't reduce the armor until you destroy the whole area. Boy, there's a lot of stuff catching up to me. As if that guy can hold up the shield to a mech tackling him. See, this is why it's good for strafing. Energy pod. So yeah, I kind of have to use these alleyways to get away from this spider. They were used to research weapons of mass destruction. This is a good time to use this. Nothing can hit me in here. I don't really get why the first shot takes off half their health, but the second shot doesn't take off the other half. Man, this seems like a good safe spot to save some ammo. Okay, there's a spider. Grab as much ammo as I can. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Where was the mine? Underneath the fucking Humvee? Oh boy, spider army is coming. You know, the bunny hop strafe also seems to work. Okay, big spider's coming that way. I wonder if one of these tanks is deploying these spiders. Let's take out these middle buildings. Also, it seems to have two health bars, one for the top half and one for the bottom half. But if you destroy the bottom half, it instantly destroys the top. Okay, I'm not doing too bad yet. Lost a good amount of health, but 
mostly just a mines. Another one down. So we got well, almost half of them. Okay, we got our offensive augment, so you can see it does a lot more damage. Take out these in one shot. I like how they just lay down. They don't even like fall over. Arr, you got me, Metal Wolf. Guess I'm gonna have to die now. Well, as long as they keep finding ammo, we shouldn't have a problem. Three the civilians. the hell out of that. Oh boy, hello. Time to scoot away. But Jody, heaven is a place on earth. You know, like the song. It's kind of weird if this is set in the future that President is referencing My Darling Clementine, which is from like 1942? 1946? Like, I feel like that's a reference he wouldn't even know because it's so far back. Then again, this is set in a non-specific time. So we don't know exactly when in the future this is. Either that or they said it at the beginning and I've already forgotten. I think they just said it's, you know, 21st century, freedom in America is dead, etc. That was me thinking there's missiles coming at me. Alright, cooling. Oh, yeah. There's really not a charge up on that attack, it just happens. This is definitely a mission I'm gonna have to come back to to get all the civilians, because there's so many. Okay, another augment. See, these ones are stronger than the other ones. Because now they're taking two shots even with the augment. a weapon in there. Oh no, that was an energy pod. Alright, let's get out before the missiles hit me. Start firing behind me. Okay, I can definitely damage it already. So I guess it's just the armor reduces damage and then goes down as we destroy these. So where is the last one? It's just the... Times Square. Man, where better to get fit than the fitness gym while chewing spearmint gum? I'm not sure what Precious First Class is. Oh, also don't forget to get some pizza while you were in New York. New York style pizza from Pizza. Hmm. This spider, I don't know how to get past it at this point. I think I have to lure it down the street and then go around the other side. 
because it just went around the corner pretty quickly. Excuse me, citizens, you're blocking my escape route. See, now it's turning around. I'm watching it on the radar. It's going back to Times Square. I need him to follow me. Oh wait, Dinkus, over here. That massive weapon gets its energy wave power from an I know. energy fill station. Destroy the energy fill station in town before doing anything else. That just sounds like a futuristic gas station. He's just getting it from the energy fuel station. Oh no, you're not going our way yet. Oop. That beam fires at a really weird angle. It just seems to just hit the ground directly in front of it. Okay, now can I outboost it back to Times Square? Because it looks like it's going faster than me. I mean, my distraction attack is actually hurting it as well. I think it's actually out of range of the sniper cannon. Well, the good thing is it went the wrong way, so this gives me more time. I think it just locked down to the soldiers. Whoops. Oh, wow. It turned around really quickly again. This is bad for me. Nope. I'm gonna die. Okay. I thought I somehow destroyed all of those remaining tanks. I mean, I've destroyed most of them, but again, I can't really get in there when he's standing right next to it. Okay, so this missile launcher obviously is not going to be a good replacement for my other one, because it's just constantly almost out of ammo. I mean, this thing already seems like I could probably destroy it. Legs never knew what hit him. Your punishment is working. Just a little more. Keep your grace under pressure, Mr. President. I wonder... Oh. I wanted to use the sniper cannon on the remaining tanks, but... I can't do that if there's spiders around. And apparently it's still too far out of range. Sniper cannon, really not that useful, it turns out. He's headed for the scrap heap, or maybe the city can make some corporate art out of him. I only have to hit him once and he'd be done. Seeds, you need to wait until New Year's for fireworks in New York. Manhattan will soon be back to its glorious hustle and bustle. Yeah, New York City is, and always was, a city built to last. Right, Jody? Of course, Mr. President. I suppose I didn't have to destroy the tanks. That would have just made it weaker. 
The Metal Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, that's not a bad achievement. So that was a rough one. But I have a feeling we're gonna get a cutscene now, because we've completed our available objectives, or available missions. Got all the energy pods, did not nearly get all the civilians. You've collected enough to get another upgrade, and that's good. Technology in New York is bad, but economy is good. Having ousted Hawk's army from nearly every corner of America, President Wilson set a course for the tyrant's last bastion, Washington, D.C., and the White House. The president had no idea of the cowardly trap Hawk had laid in store for him and his team on Air Force One. You mean to shoot down Air Force One? Started withdrawing. Did they? It sure has been a long road to victory. Has it? We're only on episode seven. Yes, it has. I really thought there'd be more missions in the States. All that remains is your home. The White House. Okay, I know a minor spoiler about what's going to happen here, and it's pretty much just a name. And that name is the Fight House. Mr. President, when this battle is over, I'm taking a paid vacation. And I want overtime. I haven't seen my parents for a while, and... Hopefully they're still alive and not enslaved in, like, Malaysia or something. You know how it is. That's fine with me. You deserve some extra time off, too. Hmm, I can't wait. Last stop, Washington, D.C. Yes, Mr. President. The Information Management Department just contacted me. The coup d'etat forces are making an announcement on national... All right, here comes our DNN news. Probably redundant to say DNN news. Dear fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, where the password is no more Metal Wolf. Metal Wolf, who escaped from military custody through cruel trickery, continues to agitate various parts of the country. Sympathize. See, they had to say we escaped because they said they defeated us. The As an American, this is most regrettable. Please try to remember the names and faces of any of the ringleaders who instigated this terrorism. A heart of justice is a heart that loves America. I can never stop laughing about how crusty Surrender the Lincoln now, statue while is. Your crimes are still not so serious. But if you refuse but I guess because the Statue of Liberty doesn't show up in game, Article it looks a lot better. Clause 4 in the newly enacted U.S. Constitution, Metal Wolf sympathizers and or any blood relatives removed four times or less, as well as schoolmates in all educational institutions, such as high schools and universities, as well as any co-workers or associates for any and all related people a public execution will be carried out. That's a pretty specific so, article in the Constitution. To any terrorist sympathizers, if an ounce of justice still remains in you, give up on that man and surrender by 5 p.m. today. This is our final ultimatum. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, where the password is. We love Richard Hawk. And please don't kill us. Jody Crawford and the other members of the president's team had abandoned him. Well, that was pretty quick. They all just jump out of Air Force One. Richard Hawk's despicable maneuvering had left them no choice. It would be unfair to brand them traitors. They were forced to back away from what was right to protect the people they loved. All the same, the president was alone and the man who did it to him had come to rub salt in his wounds. Man, we're s this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> Richard! Poor Michael. Left all by your lonesome. Richard! What... What changed you? When did you become such a comical villain? Michael, America has gotten too fat for her own good. These incapable pigs are eating this nation alive! 
He really is Senator Armstrong. The death of these freeloaders, leaving only the capable behind, will help me create a new nation. Richard, you... Oh, and Michael, I forgot to tell you, but your presidential staff, those backstabbing idiots, well, I've decided they can die too. Even though they abandon you. You! If you want to help those pigs, come to Liberty Island. Okay, I guess we're not going to the fight house yet. And watch those worms wiggle in vain. <laughs> see you when I see you! Richard, how did you even get this frequency? Richard! <laughs> Every time he says it. Richard. Richard! Alright, so I guess uh, we're not quite done yet. Because we've got to go rescue the president's team from Liberty Island. Oh, I do kind of wonder why the economy rating always starts, like, most of the way full. But anyway, that'll do it for Episode 7 of Let's Play Metal Wolf Chaos. And it's kind of looking like we won't really get more than maybe nine episodes if the next mission is also a decently long one. But until then, I... I hope you've been enjoying our time rescuing America from its oppressors, which are also American. And I hope you'll join me next time. Take care, everyone.